you know, exports have really been the, the, the lifeline of the economy for um, Asia for much of the, uh, the last year. You know, the, the global economy really has gone through uh, three phases in this, if you want to call it the pandemic business cycle. There was that, you know, the original uh, sharp uh, downturn recession in the second quarter of last year, and then second half of last year into uh, early part of this year, uh, it was all about a rapid rebound of uh, demand for goods, uh, a substitution of uh, goods for services by households in uh, North America and Europe. And you know, all that uh, reverberated through the manufacturing uh, supply chains here in Asia. And so even if the um, economies here were shut down because, or, or partly shut down anyway, because of the uh, uh, Delta variant that came through, uh, particularly in the third quarter of, uh, of this year, just the, the past quarter, the uh, export side, the manufacturing side of the economy kept things going, at least if workers could still get into the manufacturing plants and production could still uh, uh, continue. Getting into this, uh, we've been in kind of a third phase of the global uh, uh, business cycle now since uh, the middle of this year, uh, where the pace of uh, industrial production, the pace of global shipments has uh, slowed, uh, partly because of simply a pent up demand being uh, assated, but also because of the supply chain disruptions in, in uh, this part of the world and, and elsewhere. Steve. So, uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask if you could help uh, to help us to, to, to break things down. How, how does the north-south split look? That is, Northeast Asia, the big economies, and then and then Southeast Asia. Yeah, so uh, the North Asia, at least if you look at Japan and China, you know, there's a bit of a, a slowdown there. China has uh, been uh, moving along at a fairly modest pace. Their uh, exports are uh, highly dependent on uh, the auto industry and other uh uh, uh, high-tech consumer goods. A lot of that goes to the to the U.S. and the supply chains have been disrupting that that production quite a bit. And then of course, China's economy has slowed with all of the um, uh, all of the roadblocks, if you will, the uh, the regulatory changes, the uh, the uh, slowdown in the property development sector, and and, and such. Uh, but the acceleration really is in Southeast Asia, and that's where the economies are opening up now because uh, finally uh, the, the third quarter wave of the Delta variant is largely uh, behind the region. And uh, this is a chance now for the uh, uh, service sectors to begin to expand and, and the domestic economies to grow uh, in, in Southeast Asia. So in a sense, you've got a little bit of a pivot in, in Asia where Southeast Asia will be uh, accelerating uh, North Asia, perhaps a little bit uh, slower uh, here again, with the exceptions perhaps of South Korea and Taiwan, which are really getting a uh, 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 benefit from the high prices from the, the technology exports, the semiconductor exports and such.